hey, here we are. Live Tuesday night. Live from the Search for Spirits office. Yes, yes. <laughs> Live video is starting, it says. And yeah. I'm excited about that. Hey, we're here tonight. We, You know, we kind of were shooting from the hip a little bit. We had one topic. We were going to talk about equipment tonight. But a bunch of stuff came up. Which we could probably do next week. Yeah, I think we'll set something up next week. Yeah. We'll get a table set up. It's going to be warmer out. We'll, you know, just set stuff up. It'll be cool. Yeah, because so, yeah, yeah, Russ texted me. He's like, uh, what were we going to do tonight? <laughs> and, uh, I know. We had talked about, like he said, about equipment. Because but... tonight is the third, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Next Tuesday will be great for doing equipment layout. I, I can get so. it set yeah, up. We'll... Hello. Hello, hello, Rita. And so tonight we're jumping gears a little bit. Yep. And we had about five subjects that we just kind of chose from and decided that we're going to work on EVPs tonight. We're going to talk about EVPs and and have a good time with that. It should be fun, yeah, because we'll play an EVP, talk a little bit about it. Yeah, because we've got a story behind every EVP. And, and sometimes, you know, as you guys are listening, you might notice... Uh, different scenarios that led to the better EVPs. You know, they're probably... Right. I mean, it's a study that's kind of out there. A lot of people are trying a lot of different things. That said, these are strictly electronic voice phenomena, meaning these are coming from a audio recorder, their spirit or some type of voice that we hear only through a recorder. This is not utilizing any other devices this is just standard evps no digital devices that's a whole another ball of wax right and you know i haven't even collected up all of our digital ones i mean i've played with it a little bit i probably have a spot where i've been collecting a few well like the uh ones from uh the app we use, or yeah. even back in when we were using the Spirit Box more, we PBS have some of those. Seven, I think, yeah, and the Eleven, and, and those are called RVPs. And, so, um, yeah. so yeah, we've got some of those, but we, you don't have any tonight. You just have. I them. hope not to have them. Okay. Hello, Erica. Hi, Erica. Hello, Tammy. Hi, Tam. Um, so if you catch me with one, let me know, and I'll just stop it right away. Cause I was kind of going through and collecting all kinds Unless of stuff. It's a good one. Might be a good it one. Might be a good one. So, well, without further ado, let's just get this going. We said EVPs. Let's play some EVPs. Now, this is going to have to be creative because I'm going to jump over to our EVPs. And hopefully that shouldn't cause a problem, right? Uh, Probably not. No, it should, should be all right. Let's find out. Okay, we're going to try this out. Now, the first one we're going to do is a, a longer one, but it is really interesting. Um, we're at a theater in St. Cloud, Minnesota, and in a back room, I open up the door, and, and we're doing some EVP work, and a spirit says, close the door. There's someone, someone back in the... Let's see what you pull out of it. The door pops open. And that's a longer one. Let me know how they sound. Play that, um, play that uh, close the door once again. Just that. Close the door. Just that bit. And there is uh, music from the bar yeah, that's yep. nearby. This door pops open. That's me. Pops open. Pops open. Pops open. Pops open. So. Oh, it's I know, right? <laughs> so So that to me actually is probably one of my favorite EVPs. And I say that for one particular reason, because I have done random stops on two other occasions at this location. And you find him still gone to that exact same spot. 
and I pick up similar EVPs. Yeah, there's from this that dude just sitting back there. He's back in the closet he's just, there. He's waiting for you. He's, he's just doing. hanging out. N not that he wants to talk to you because he says, close the door. Close the door. Mm -hmm. He's just waiting for the end of time. I really think that's about it. But uh, so, again, if anybody can tell me out there how things. Yes, Erica heard it. Excellent. Hello, Hi, Jill. Hello. All right, what's the next one? This is fun. <clears throat> All right, now, this is one of Mark's favorites. Uh, I'll play it, and then Mark will talk about it a little bit. I just turn it up a little bit. So this one was, um, we were doing an investigation in the fall, and we had walked around the house with the, the uh, guy and his girlfriend that mm -hmm. lived there, and I saw their pumpkin on the step, and I said, that's really neat, because she had carved it pretty neat. Uh, yeah. Cool. Pretty yeah, in a, a cool way, and um, it was pretty neat. And but I just mentioned that on the stairway. I just I just said I really liked your um, your uh, pumpkin. And then so we went inside, and we were setting up some equipment, and that's when the EVP happened. So kind of for us, it um, just showed us that we need to start recording immediately when we get there. Mm -hmm. That was kind of a, our take home that night. So this one, I can say. Uh, Erica, I thought you heard, please stop talking. Um, in the part that we're talking about, because I know there can be more than one, because there's some of our voices in there too, it says, where did I get that pumpkin? And now we're going to jump, let's just jump right to another one. This one was out in Winthrop, Minnesota. And it this is early. This is 2012. So this is going back quite a ways. Ten years. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'm pretty good at math, apparently. Um, anyway, this is one of my very first human EVPs, Class A EVPs. And I'm just going to tell you what it says. It says, Wide Sprendle. And I'll tell you a little bit more in a minute. I swear I heard voices coming out of this room down here. Which one? That one? So we're in this old plantation house. It used to be an old wheat plantation from years ago and hosted many, many um, workers that would work in the kitchens and would work out in the fields and whatnot. And uh, up on the second floor of this old, soon to be abandoned house, we caught that. And, and it's just a male voice, wide sprendo. And, and, and Sprendle means uh, not too many things. It's not a word that's very popular, which is unique in itself, but talks about like kind of maybe a window opening or maybe the, um, the window, I was thinking of the supernatural aspect of it. I was trying to think of it from a supernatural definition. It was kind of like talking about an open window or a yep. wide open window, but for him, he, I feel he was talking in supernatural terms. But uh, okay, are they sounding good out there? Nobody's really made a comment how they sound. Are you able to hear them pretty decent? Let us know. Meanwhile, we'll play another one. Uh, this one I'll play. This was at Waverly Hills, at the sanatorium there, in Kentucky. Ten years ago. Ten years ago again. And this really, I got this is just about probably my first EVP. And, and this one, we were in the tunnel, uh, the death tunnel going down underneath uh, where the bodies would get sent through. 
Yeah, the death shoot. Yeah, the death shoot. And there was kind of a weird growl. Yeah. So the echoes. It echoes. Could you even? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's just. I remember when I heard that. That was kind of. That was kind of darn frightening. I tell you what, um, because it, it wasn't human. Let's just say that, there was nothing human about that one at all. Right. And, uh, but, and like I say, this was early on, probably my first EVP, and I'm like, it's like a darn monster or something. All right, let's take a look. Uh, let's jump to, here's, well, this one has a cuss word in it. I don't know if we should play this one. Should we play it, Mark? No, why not? Let's just see if they can hear what it says. Oh, that is quite quiet, though. I probably need to boost that one up. Yeah. That's pretty quiet. But it's clear, though. That's the thing. It's very clear. At least here. I just have to boost the sound on it. Though. Uh, well, then do the uh, the spirit dog one. Um, All right, let's do Fairbone. spirit spirit dog. Back this down in Fairbone. <laughs> So that's pretty echoey too. That's a building that uh, is concrete and yeah. Uh, yeah, the sound bounces off. But that dog barking is is pretty evident. Yeah, and the dog barking to me, I felt that the dog barking was less a dog barking than it was an opening, so to speak. The dog bark was like an opening, and and sometimes when energy passes through a certain opening in the dimensions or something to that fact. It might sound like thunder. It might sound, uh, we've heard gunshots many times. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it, we know it ain't gunshots, but it sounds like gunshots. And it might song, sound like a dog barking or some other type of animal type sound. Maybe it's a hound of hell <laughs> yeah. or something. I mean, we've even heard a few times the sound of like hogs, like pigs snorting. Oh, yeah, yeah. And... I've heard, um, so now there was chanting in there as well. Chanting. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but um, I had a, some, it was on my GoPro, and it was during the day at a, an old school, and I got some weird chanting and music as well. Mm -hmm. I'll have to get that, break that off so yeah. you can hear it. But. Yeah, we, I mean, it's not unusual to get some chanting, and, you know, I can only assume that that chanting is um, maybe residual <coughs> from frankly there's a lot of groups out there doing stuff not paranormal groups I'm talking organizations involved in occult type stuff or satanic stuff and they'll go to these places and, and their their energy the residual of their energy and some of these things that they're doing can be very strong and can chanting I mean that's yeah. just that's just nasty to me. But, uh, all right, let's see. Uh, this one is kind of quiet. Let's skip the, okay. let's skip that one. Let's go to this one. I think this one would be able to hear it. Well. That one says, this house is haunted. I'll play it another two times. Well. And then our investigator would be like, no, let's do this one here. Yep. Now this has got a guy's name on it. This is pretty easy to hear. So he's Hans. Hans. Hans Hans is the guy's name. Uh, probably, obviously a deceased person from Minnesota. But, you know, it's not unusual for a spirit to give a first and a last name. Is that the one that... Uh our other investigator ran into in the basement and, that, said, and said, excuse me? That was the one right before that one. Oh. Okay. And the last one came from 
and we talked about, I think we did a show on the Triple Six house. Oh, yep. Yep. And uh, that's where that one came. So some of you might have heard that one before. But uh, all right, so I've got a few other ones I handpicked out here. Is that top one the freaking... Freaking right, man, he says. That one pretty cool? Or I think whatever. it is. I don't know if I... All right, well, we're going to play a few more. And, uh, you know, some you're going to hear better because of the tones. They're just going to come out at you better. And, and some of them are... Cars driving by. No, some of them are. We can hear really good, but yeah. they're soft enough. So they're yeah, all. Hopefully, you guys can. Yeah, check this one out. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that one, but it sounds like a stoner going, Yeah, freaking right, man. Yeah. That's, it, uh, <clears throat> that's kind of funny. Um, this is a good one. Now this, I started setting a few of these to the side. Most of them I changed the name of the locate. I put the location on by changing the title of the of the clip. Where did that one come? This from? one I didn't. So oh. this is the only one I don't know where it came from. And there's a female voice in the background. Behind one of the investigators saying, he's crossing with you. So that could be any number of places. Right. You're up there. You're up there. What's the guy saying? You're up there. You're up there. You're up there. Sounds like he's saying the unit upstairs. I have a feeling that that one's from Humbert. I just have a feeling. Okay. I think that's where that one is from. Oh, yeah, like um, the time before. Right, right, right. Yeah. All right. Uh, Hutchinson, Minnesota. The boy voice. Now, I have two of these. And, okay, there they both are. Now, these are EVPs. But any of you that watched our show from a couple weeks back where we had EVPs of unusual non-voice, non-human type things, uh, meaning residual from things in the past, maybe, uh, well, the one we had, like a baby crying, yeah, and clock ticking, clock um, ticking, and different things like that. Sounded like a little toy dinosaur growling. Yeah. This next EVP, the next two, are very much like that. They, there's no explanation to why in the world would we hear this as an EVP? Check these two out. Now, I'm not saying you can understand what the words are, but it's like some kind, almost like a show or something. But these were picked up during our quiet time. Yeah, we weren't doing... So it was silent. Was there was on. nothing going on. And I'm like, Mark, what are you watching cartoons in the back room during our damn quiet session? Nope. He says, I wasn't doing nothing. All right, here's another one. This is very similar to that one we just said. really weird now that one i think we were probably talking in the background oh like you and mitch were in the back room yeah in the back room talking and we picked up a sec you know for a second time it sounds like it's from like a movie or something like an and it sounds like the same voice like a disney well, movie the first one you played let's play it one more time All right, there it is, the first one. Now, here's the second one. So I know yeah, that's, weird. And that's it, us in the background. And it actually sounds like that's maybe when I went back to talk to you guys back there. Yeah. And you guys had kind of had a 
an animal spirit run around your yeah. legs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, we had a a dog spirit at this one. That there, was interesting. Because remember earlier, I was sitting in that back room by myself. Yeah, yeah. And they have dogs, but the dogs were either inside or there was like one tied up outside. But the one tied up outside wasn't in my, um, like you couldn't see it through that window. Right. But this big white oh, thing yeah. like went past the window and I wasn't able to, well, there were no tracks. Well, we ran out. Into the yard, and it's snowing to beat yeah. the damn band. It's windy. Yep. And there's no foot. We're running. We're holding the meters out in front of us, and we saw it by the shed. Something oh, yeah. ducked yeah. behind the shed. We couldn't... And we were following it with the meters around the shed, and then it's just disappeared somewhere. That was insane. That was. That place gave oh. us a few different things that was pretty interesting. Uh, Russ and I lost, I don't know, what, three hours there? I, I don't know how long it was in the end. It was at least an hour. Anyway. I know the freaking I mean, sun came up, you know. <laughs> but Russ um, Russ is like, okay, I'm going to go up to this big rock. And I'm like. Peace rock. Yeah, the peace rock. And I'm like, I'm going to go behind the shed where. I had occupants... somebody run up on me earlier. Yep. And one of the occupants would always see somebody down there. So I went there and I think I spent almost an hour there. And Russ is like. I come walking up and he's like, he thought it was like a couple minutes. Later. I literally thought 20 minutes at most had passed. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing up here already? And he's like, hasn't it been like an hour? Yeah. And we look at, and here it had been like two hours or something. Well, then, uh, then also after that, we're like, because we always kind of regroup on a longer investigation and go, all right, what would, you know, where do we want our equipment? What are we looking for? And we just kind of do a reboot and keep going. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what we did in that last bit because all of a sudden the sun's coming up and we're like. And it ain't often that we investigate all the way through till sun up. That's actually pretty rare. But we've never had that happen before. 3, 4, 3, 4, 30, 4, 4, 30 in the morning. Yep. That's one thing. But sun up, that's another. But, you know, there's no way neither either of us should have like, no. had that happen. It was no. some kind of a weird time. <clears throat> Time like thing. to me, it felt like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I I absolutely was floored. I'm like, what what happened? Yeah, that was, like was I just standing there staring out in the woods? That for was an a long interesting time? interesting case. Oh yeah, it was. Woo! All right, what else you got for us? Oh hey, yeah, that's right. We got we got some EVPs we to got, play we here. Got a few more. Oh so yeah, that voice that stuff is weird, and uh, we've picked it up a time or two. Um, let's check out this one. This is at the Edinburgh. This is. We're all cleaned up, and literally, we all walked out the door. Um, I think there was a little bit of equipment that we went back in to pick up, but for the most part, it's over. Well, yeah, and the other team had gone already. It was just yeah, the other team was gone. Kind of doing our last little bits. And, and it's like the spirits knew that we were cleaning up and leaving. And here's what they had to say. And uh, you know, some of these I got them really cranked up. That probably doesn't need that one doesn't need to be that loud. Um, if anybody knows tools, how to average out sound, send me the link. Um, but here, one more. This beer says it's at the very end. You know, just because we like to leave our recorders on till the very end, just mm -hmm. like we start them right away, um, that we pick up stuff like that, which and is that's cool. an intelligent response. I mean, it's kind of amazing. That yeah. yeah. So another, I think we talked about this one. We we did in one of our Facebook lives. But did we, we? We walked right up, and that old guy was talking to us right by the trunk. You know, we oh, just, the next one. You got that one? I don't know. That one's coming. That one's coming. Yep. Okay. Uh, I got another Fairbolt one here. Oh, good. You do have that one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's coming up yet. Yeah, play that other Fairbolt one. Here. Here's from Fairbolt. Well, We've never... To me, it sounds like it's saying, there's something out here to hide. 
Maybe we'll find that soon. Yeah. That thing that's hidden. Yeah. We're heading down that way before long here. Yeah, yeah. Um, this this one was up at Hibbing. Um, it was pretty clear. I thought it would come out clear sounding. Um, and this one I shouldn't even have to really introduce. Yep, that's pretty clear. Spirit. But the way it sounds, it was really going fast. I don't know. I... Spirit. <laughs> but it was pretty interesting. Um, all right. I, you know, I can't play, so to speak, the best EVPs without jumping back to Humbird and playing this one. That has to be I'm Corinne Yeah. That's one of my favorites. It was just so clear. Just yeah. Tammy says she doesn't know about other people, but she has no sound. Are you kidding me? The sound looks all good here. Yeah, everything's yeah, we haven't dropped. Um, can anybody give us an update besides, you know, Tammy's saying no sound. Okay, no, Gina, Gina can hear. Okay. Uh, so that's good. That's good. It might just be a reception issue. All right. Now, now you were just talking about Sock Rapids. That's the one, yeah. Okay. And, uh, so I am definitely... Oh, cool. thanks, Joel. Thanks. Look at it. Yeah, I think it, I, you know, some people are having better reception than others, I suppose. Um, but this is the Sock Rapids one. Yeah, this was probably right within the first 30 seconds of when we uh, turned on the the recorder. So that, so that it's pretty cool. I, I really think I'm very close to thinking this is my number one. It actually is my number two. Uh, number one is at the number one spot. So right now, this is at the number three spot. But I love this EVP right here. And it's very clear. Um, and I'm just going to tell you about it quick. Because I know some people have a little harder trouble. Um, well, you started saying it. Why don't you tell about it? Well, I hadn't remembered what he said. But, um, it was, you know, I, I was just thinking it was an example of, you know, something that we learned like a long time ago that we should turn our audio on, I mean, right even before we get inside. And, yeah. Um, you know, that pumpkin one was one that, that kind of prompted that a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we Way always, back then, years ago. Yeah, we should have that running. And same thing with, like, running it out to the end. That's the last thing we turn off uh, yeah. pretty much. And I have a recorder. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I have it right on me. I turn that on before we even put the trunk down. Yep. It's on, and it runs, and then when I close the trunk, then it's done. And that's what happened here. I mean, it was, he turned it on, we closed the trunk, because we weren't going to bring gear in quite yet. We just wanted it was to winter, a lot of snow. Yeah, I wanted to walk in and introduce us, ourselves to the family, and, and boom, it was like right immediately. So go ahead and, and play it without All right. further ado. My battery's done. My battery's done. And in case it is hard to hear, um, like I say, we just opened the door, I turned the audio on, and an elderly man, a soul, standing r obviously right next to us, right with us yeah. says to us, my battery's dead. My battery's dead. Well, like, my battery's dead. And the funny thing is, I really think that you had just mentioned something about batteries too i i don't know like because sometimes we'll get to a place and we'll go ah, our batteries you know yeah and uh, i think you're like well, i hope some of our batteries are good but uh i don't know but yeah and but, un unfortunately we only got what started um what kind of tape recorders we use well we have sony's we have uh oh here's one yeah this is kind of our main one that we use we have multiple of these I don't know, maybe what, four? I have one, you have... 
I have about eight myself. Yeah. So, but of the Sonys? No, no. I only have no, so, like two or three Sonys. Yeah, so we have like maybe four of these guys, the Sonys. Yeah. And then, and then we run Olympias. Some Olymp- yeah, Olympias or whatever. A couple different. We have a couple different Olympia ones. Yep. Well, you have like at least three, I think, set at all different. Yeah, I've set at different yep. um, pickup. Oh, sorry. That was. What was that you? Wow, yeah. Well, at least it was you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Back to business here. Um, yeah, all right. That, that old guy, and he sounds so sweet, too. I you know, know. It's like, I know. Yeah. So let's play, jump. Play him one more one time. One more time. My battery's done. My battery's done. That is That's sweet. Um, I know this one's a little soft. It's very clear, but it's kind of soft. I may have to turn it up. I'll play it once. Um, and I'll just tell you, uh, this was back in the St. Cloud area, back at Sauk yep. Rapids. And I think that was one of the Wild 99 ones, We, you know, one of the radio shows we did. Uh, we had a live investigation, and we picked this one up. Oh, boy, that is quiet, though, isn't it? I t- cranked it up. Yep. That's a bummer. That one ain't louder. I'll have to boost that one up. That one says, I think I need faith. And it is so clear. Right. It just needs a super boost. And uh, we're not, you know, we have some knowledge of audio and working with audio. But uh, we could use a local professional that really was high tuned into the adjusting of these audio bits. Right, yeah. Isolate to make, the yeah, noise and... and clear them up. And we're just not smart enough to get these as fancy as we'd like. They're good EVPs, but they could always be better. Heck yeah. All right. This is the grand finale. And oh, look that's at that. we're just right not the bad timing. Back. Not bad timing. Now, this one was downtown. With this was with Wild ninety nine again. Yeah. Another different investigation though, totally different investigation. And and I gotta say this is probably my number one right now. Um, the other one, Battery's Dead, is probably two That's or three, three or four. Pretty good, yeah. But this one is my top one, I think, right now. Um. What building were we at? We were downtown at the Radio the cult- City Radio City building. Radio. Why can't I? I uh, Radio Music Mall. Radio, Radio City, Music Mall. Radio City Music Mall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, all right, here we go. This fella, during this audio session, says, Will someone ever help me? <laughs> Okay, I was adjusting the temperature, so you had a little couple dings in there. Yeah. And and that's pretty impressive. I mean, that is uh, obviously intelligent communication. Right. Um, clear, loud. I mean, it just it has all the qualities of a class A EVP. Yep. Um. And some, like I say, some of these are good EVPs, just need some boosting. But when you boost them up, then you get all that static noise. So it's tough. It's tough to play around with them. And I don't probably have the equipment or the technical knowledge. But hey, nonetheless, EVPs, we have a, a very interesting time. They provide a lot of information for us to be able to help. And And the biggest thing is, to acknowledge the fact that we get into a location, they let us know, hey, we're looking for help. We're stuck. Um, will someone ever help me? Help me, help me is it's probably one. the number one thing we hear. Number two is get out. The second one is get out. <laughs> so they kind of kind of opposites. Well, and another fun thing they do too is um, when we do like uh, like an audio session, we're asking questions. Um, we'll count down a lot at the end, and they'll count with us. That's yep, another thing they yep. do quite a bit. You know. Absolutely. So. We'll get a lot of uh, residual conversation 
based on what we're talking about. Yeah. So this is a tool, kind of like Russ was saying, you know, that we, it kind of helps us to get an idea of what's going on there, who might be there, just think, just things that'll help us with the investigation. Yeah. And and it's, the nice thing is, I mean, there, it's kind of like a dramatic um, example of what we run into, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's, I don't know, what do you, did you have 25 or whatever? You know, that's a small sample of, very All small of the sample. Stuff we have. Yeah, just and really, we went through material, but there's one thing where I listen to it and I make notes. There's another part of EVP work where I actually cut them out, title them, save them off to the side. I mean, it's a process. It is because I mean, there's not an investigation minimum of probably seven hours of just audio alone. Well, and here, yeah, here, so here's an example of that. If we go to an investigation, and let's say it's four hours, and we're operating with maybe, say, four of these little recorders, well, now, what is that? 16 hours of, Boom, right of there. audio. Plus, you know, we run as many, up to as many, well, I don't know how many. Like, so there's, like, if we Anywhere quad, between... Two at the minimum Four, cameras, six. up to ten easily. Yeah, yeah, up to ten cameras. And we get the little pop and drop cop cams yeah. going, and and if we run those as well, I mean that just adds so much. All of a sudden, you have 30, 40, 50 hours of material. Yeah, in, <clears throat> pretty much impossible to be trying to listen to all Unless that. Unless you have a paranormal show <laughs> and you have a bunch of staff. <laughs> we need staff. That'd be nice. We need staff. We need staff. But uh, hey, whoa! I am obviously slapping things around too much here. What do you mean? You didn't even touch that. I, that just I flew didn't. Right off. Why did this just fly off? No, well, maybe we uh, stir hey. up a little action, huh? So one, you know, we're we're getting closer. But one of the things that happens when we're at investigations okay. and we're sitting around talking about things, like. Our meters start going off. I mean, crap, ah, I was going to test that tonight. I didn't. Oh, shoot. You know what? We're going to do that next week. Because it's equipment time. It's equipment week, and we're going to run some of the equipment during the show to see if anything happens. Yeah. Well, let's run it all. Let's, let's we'll do run it. We'll run everything. We'll, just, we'll set a big table up in here, and we'll just get nuts we'll have fun with that that'll be fun see all the... and we can talk we can say what words are coming up on the obelisk um who knows what'll happen yeah who no hence <laughs> my husband is in the garage a lot that's true uh i'm gonna put a big hug and a kiss oh. in there love you um all right so hey thanks everybody it is 738 yeah thanks for joining us uh, maybe <laughs> Maybe that was something telling us that, hey, why don't you hey, shut it's up? It's time to shut it down. It's time to shut it down. All right. Thanks for coming. Next Tuesday, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. We're talking about equipment. Equipment. And not only talking about it, operating we're it. We're going to run it. We're, we're going to run about, some stuff. We're going to talk about some ghost stories a little bit, too. And see oh, can, yeah. Who can, like, stir it up? Who cannot show you equipment and not tell you about some of the experiences we've had with it? Right. So... We're looking to have a good time. Good night, good night Jill. Jill. Good night, everybody. You have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.